out my meatballs inside my bundt pan and I'm just adding some Rayo's roasted garlic. Alrighty, now I've got some cooked squash. Just sauteed this in some butter, salt and pepper. You can use a different vegetable if you like. All right, now I'm adding in some mozzarella cheese and this is the rustic cut. It's gonna get a nice layer in there, just like that. Now I'm coming in with some pasta on top here. It's not gonna be too much. This was one box, but I don't think we're gonna use this whole thing. So you could just prepare half a box if you like. I'm gonna add in my eggs. I'm going to put a little bit of just salt on top. This is granulated sea salt. I love the way this flavors and it accentuates the food, especially for Italian recipes. Now I've just got some fresh ground pepper here and you can just pepper this to your liking. Italian seasoning. So we've got our mix of Italian herbs here, which is going to give this a lot of I'm doing some crushed red pepper because I like things a little bit spicy, but you can always leave this out. And now for me personally, I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic. And some of our easy onion here, but you can use fresh onions if you prefer. It's all about what you have time for. Sometimes the fresh onions take a little time too. Alrighty, I'm just gonna start mixing this all up in here. We're gonna kind of get the meatballs a little bit mixed throughout, but I'm gonna leave them a lot um, on top as well. But we wanna get, you know, this cheese and sauce kind of throughout our pasta incorporated a little bit more. This is gonna be a really yummy kind of show-stopping dinner that you can make for family or friends. And I like it, like it reminds me of, you know, a throwback old school Italian meal, really delicious, hearty, obviously with the pasta, our vegetables, our meatballs, I just love this whole thing and I love making things in the bun pan. I feel like it's very decorative and it just is kind of a showstopper and a wow for people when they're coming over for dinner. Alrighty, we're just gonna finish this off with a little bit more cheese. Not too much, but that's also perfect because that's about what I got in my bag here. And this didn't all go in here. I had used this on other uh, meals, so don't you worry about the cheese content here. You know, I love cheese, but I didn't use too much, I don't think. Alrighty, I'm gonna bake this at 350 for 40 minutes and I'll see you then. Alrighty y'all, we cooked this for 40 minutes at 350 and I just let it cool a little bit so I could touch the outside here. Now I'm gonna take my cutting board, place it just like that, and we're gonna give this a good flip. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Oh, I love it. It looks so good. <laughs> oh my God, look at this beautiful pasta bake that you can serve to your guests. They're gonna be so amazed, so impressed with this. We got our meatballs in here, our vegetables, our sauce. This is gonna be a delicious dinner to serve to family and friends, okay? How fun. How fun. I love it. Oh boy. Let's get in here. Look at that. Perfect. Alrighty. I cannot wait to get a bite of this. Look at those meatballs in there. We got everything you could want. Your pasta, your cheese, your veggies, your meatballs. Bon appetit, everyone. Mmm, 
Oh my gosh. The garlic, so good. I'm gonna serve this for our next Sunday night dinner. I can't wait.